There are three major factors to consider in this issue, two of which could be minimised, and the third is where the critical issue will lie. First is experimental accuracy. This is important due to specific heat capacity of water and the energy required to change state of water to ice. This means that any errors in the experiment could cause a change in the result. So errors in measurement of purity of samples, other conditions, could have a direct effect, as well as could experimental wishful thinking. This can be solved by carefully checking all parts of the experiment and running it multiple times. Then we have water density. Water density changes with temperature and can cause various temperature layers to form, especially in cooler water. It tends not to happen in warmer water, is generally this state of flux due to convection currents developing within the samples. This however can be solved by stirring or agitating both samples equally before the experiment. This leaves us with the key element, the cooling unit itself. The cooling unit will generally have a thermostat of some kind to regulate its temperature. When you place a warm body of water inside the cooling unit, it will raise the temperature of the cooling unit to an extent where it will need to put in more effort to bring down the temperature inside the cooling unit to its normal operating temperature. And this is extra cooling effort which will in the end result in the warmer liquid freezing faster than the cooler sample.